Hi, this is Dave from Rail Development Group with a short video on how to convert or flip the lock box in an M23 machine. This video will cover the locking requirements of the M23 lock box and will describe how to convert or invert the lock box. In the clips that follow, the circuit controller has been removed from the machine so that you can clearly see the locking dogs and the locking components of the machine. On the M23 machine, the lock dog on the lock box must always pass through the narrow notch on the lock rod first in order to ensure proper locking. Sometimes the lock box will engage with the wide notch first. This is incorrect as it will result in improper locking of the machine. Sometimes the locking dog on the lock box will be aligned on the top while the lock rod notches are on the bottom. This obviously won't work. In these cases it will be necessary to invert or flip the lock box. To invert the lock box it will be necessary to lift the controller from the machine. Do this by removing the mounting screws starting with the rear left screw as shown. Operate the machine so that the lock box is completely at the motor end of the machine. It will be necessary to shift the machine to motor and hand crank it to this position. Now remove the remaining three screws. With the aid of a helper, carefully lift the controller out of the machine. Lift out the lock box, flip it over, and then set the controller back into the machine. Note that it is critical when lifting the controller out of the machine to maintain the relationship between the gear on the controller and the rack gear on the lock box. In other words, don't let the lock box slide and don't let the gear turn to another position. In order to verify that the controller was reinstalled properly, operate the machine to the end of stroke in the normal position the indication contacts should be down and properly making. The motor contacts for that direction should be open. Now, operate the machine fully to the reverse end of stroke. The indication contacts on that side should be down and properly making. The motor contacts for that direction should be open. If these conditions have not been met, then it will be necessary to lift the controller out rotate the gear on the controller one tooth and then reinstall it and then re-verify it. So that concludes this video. Hope it was helpful and thanks for watching. If there is any way we can be of assistance, please give us a call. Thank you and have a safe day.